Blackstone last night decided what to do with that awful house where the three dead infants were found, the house uh, not far from the police station. Yeah, what they've decided is they're ordering the owner to demolish the house within one week or she'll face consequences. NBC 10's Brian Crandall reports. This is a black hole in Blackstone. 23 St. Paul Street, where three dead babies were found, along with four other children, surrounded by heaps of hundreds of dirty diapers, filth, and bugs. How anybody could live in a structure like that, where you had vermin and you had dog feces and human feces on the walls and ceilings in the attic, it was just a horrendous scene. The head of the Blackstone Board of Health says the stench in the home was overwhelming even after an extensive cleanup by hazmat crews. It's beyond anything that anybody could imagine. Claiming the house would be nearly impossible to rehab, the Board of Health voted to order the owner to demolish the home within seven days. Town officials say the home is basically abandoned as they have not heard back from owner Christina Rivera, who they asked to be at this meeting. We're just somewhat perplexed and disappointed that uh, she didn't appear tonight. Yeah, too. We went to Rivera's home in neighboring Woonsocket. I'm from Channel 10 News. No response to that. And then a few minutes later, a woman walked into the house telling us to get away. Back in Blackstone, town leaders say demolition is not just the only choice because of the physical problems with the house, but because of the emotional scar it is left to. Is that just as important to you, or at least a factor? Oh, it's definitely a factor. Um, that's a black hole, and uh, we need to stop the healing process. Neighbor Amanda Haywood, who has to walk past the house on her way home from work, agrees it should be torn down. I think it's just an eyesore and a bad memory for people to look at. So Rivera has seven days to begin demolition. If she doesn't, town officials say she'll face a $500 fine for each day after that until the town can hire someone to do the work. And they say they'll have her foot the bill anyway. If she doesn't pay, they'll put a lien on the property. I'm Brian Crandall, NBC 10 News in Blackstone.